Oh my god, she's dead. Dun, dun, dun. Sure thing, I'll make this court case as quick as possible. I don't want to be alive anymore. <gasps> Looks like that turkey sandwich is getting closer and closer. Yum. Hello everyone and welcome to Regaria Hope, a brand new visual novel. But that's actually not new, but it's new to my channel. So whatever, let's just get on in here and try to win the trial of the century. The game respects your decisions. If you want to throw a trial, be prepared to throw a trial and see the consequences. No worries, I will not throw the trial. Welcome to Regaria Hope. This game features the same courtroom drama you'd expect from other attorney games. But in this game, your choices will affect the story. The next choice could be the most important one for you. What do you want Regaria to shout when she's presenting evidence? Hmm. Lies. Click the scene here how it will sound and look. Lies! What? Oh, that was so sick. Did you see that dully noted, duly noted symbol up there? That means you made a decision that the game will remember. Ah, I see. Okay, so it was actually up here. I don't know if you guys seen it. It'll be uploaded at the end of the case, and you'll be able to see what... You'll be able to see what, how your choices... You'll be able to see what, how your choices... Oh my god. Just trying to say that sentence right here? That was hard. Let's try it again. It will be uploaded at the end of the case, and you'll be able to see... What, how your choices compare to everyone around you? Okay, come on. That's definitely a grammar mistake right here. Regaria Hope has been optimized differently for computers and phones, mostly with image quality. Wait a minute. This is actually for mobile? Sweet. I must, I'm going to try and find it. If you have a fast phone, tablet, or slow computer, you might want to change the optimization. High quality images will take about 400 to 500 megabytes of RAM at max. Okay. If your phone if your phone computer can handle it, set high quality, blah, blah, blah. Otherwise, set false, blah, 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 blah. Yes. Your input, enjoy your trip. Thank you so much. Whoa! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another night of mystery with Regaria Hope. Dead Drunk. Whoa, that sounds scary. July 9th, 9 p.m., 2099, Podunk City Hall, Grand Ballroom, USA. Sounds epic. Oh, look at that. Oh, she's so beautiful. You know how those boring wedding videos that newlyweds force their friends to watch after a wedding? Nope, never been to a wedding. Don't worry, this one isn't boring. But someone isn't living happily ever after. Ha! <laughs> look at that. He's drunk and she's singing karaoke. <gasps> oh no! I bet that wasn't the reception she was playing for. Oh my god! She's dead! Dun dun dun! July 17th, 9 a.m., 2099, Podunk City Court, waiting room 2. USA. Oh my word! Oh my word! Oh my word! I'm going to be late! This is my first murder case and I'm going to be late. I'm a defense lawyer. I can't let my client down before the court is in session. Ah, Regaria. How nice of you to finally join us. I was having a rather mundane chat with this fellow here. We were thinking, if you were any later, he was just going to die. Ew. Okay, let's try not to be late next time. Just joking, dear. I knew you would show up. So, did you remember to read over the case files last night? Do you remember the name of your poor client? Um, hold on a second. Let me just click this button here. People. Sweet. Okay. And, oh. Here it is. Brock and Art. The defendant, my first defendant, accused of murdering his wife on his wedding night at the reception. The bastard. The punk. But he might actually be innocent, so let's not uh, assume he's a punk right now. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. I did read the case files, but... My but in my rush to get here, I've forgotten everything. Is there anything else, actually? Oh, there is more stuff here. Okay, case write-up. This describes the murder of, Vic of Victoria Timms by Brock and Art. The victim was poisoned by potassium cyanide found on a wine glass at the scene. Awesome. I mean, not awesome. That was bad. Let's that's, that's scrap that from the record. This was a glass that Victoria Timms drank from that fateful night. Tests on the glass did no trace of potassium cyanide. Currently the most probable murder weapon. Okay, the wine bottle was that was poured into Victoria's Timms wine glass. Test done on the wine found nothing. Okay, so definitely that means when the wine was delivered, the poison was applied to the wine glass as it was being delivered, since the poison wasn't actually directly in the wine bottle. Okay, Victoria's will. This will describes that all the money will go to someone called Jordan Deed. It hasn't been updated in over five years. There's no mention of Brock and Art in this document. Oh, wow. Who is this Jordan Deed? Okay. Um, okay, dear, this is the first murder case. I'll give you a little leeway. I can see you have your case files on you. Why not open them up, or have you remember just now? No, we read it on the way here. Please tell me the name of our client today. You got it. It's gotta be Brock and Bones. Oh, god, I was actually gonna click that right away. Arrowed Need. Okay, totally a Skyrim reference. 
Great. Awesome. So, Brock, say hi to the pretty lady. Wah! <sighs> Looks like we have a crybaby on our hands. Hi, lady. That is not as pretty as my darling dead wife. Oh, why did she have to die? I'm going to die too. Give me the guilty verdict. What? I don't know if he's guilty or not. <laughs> I don't know. He doesn't seem guilty. He seems a little too, uh, seriously broken up. Bravo. So the government gave us another crazy one. Not us, dear. You. Today's your first day as a fully-fledged government-appointed defense lawyer. Mm-hmm. Yep. I was just getting settled, and now it reminds me that it's my first day. This is your first case? Great! I'm going to be seeing my wife soon. Holy crap, he is definitely suicidal. What the heck? Don't worry, dear. I'll be there with you. He just wanted to congratulate you after all your hard work. Great. Thanks. Why would anyone do this to her? Why kill my wife? She couldn't hurt anyone. That's what we are here to find out today, Brock. We're going to prove that it couldn't have been you. So let's go on a run through how to exhibit evidence in court. There'll be times when people in court will want to show evidence to back up your claims or to prove motives. Eka Seta Tara. What the heck does that mean? Okay, blah blah blah. We need to know how to do it. This is my for first course case. Okay dear, I'll jog your memory. You've seen your case files before. Now you try exhibiting some evidence before we get out in front of the TV cameras and reporters. So what do you want me to exhibit now? How about you present the murder weapon to me? Are you kidding? They couldn't even find the murder weapon yet. They did find what they can They did find what they currently consider to be the murder weapon, but I want you to prove to me that you know what it is. How about you go check your case files and present the evidence to me just like you would in court? It would be good to get some practice in before a trial. Use your big lawyer voice. Um murder weapon was this one? Okay, um it's currently the most probable murder weapon. Lies! Lies! Oh. Regaria, you sounded so fiery just then. Awesome. Great, I think you've got the hang of things, Regaria. Now let's try practicing what you'll be doing in court. I'm going to make a few statements and you need to find a statement that is false. When you do, present to me the evidence that proves me wrong, the same way you presented the evidence to me before. The next button will make me state my next statement. Whoa, what's with the flashing letters in the middle of the screen? Okay, the next button will make me state my next statement, got it. The back button will make me state my previous statement. Press next to make me state my next statement. Okay. You can only present evidence during a testimony or when you are asked to do so. Make sure you match the evidence to the false statement. Our defendant is Brock and Art. The bottle of wine was poisoned. Yep. Regaria, one of my statements was a lie. Once you find the statement, present the evidence that proves my current statement is a lie to me. Okay, I know which one it is. It would be the... the, the not this one. This one, because the bottom line was not poisoned. It was actually the teacup. I mean... <laughs> the wine glass. Lies! What? What? Wasn't the glass? Oh, I'm afraid that's not quite right. I would check the detailed information on evidence. Let me know what you just said wrong. The bottle of wine was poisoned. Oh, do I actually have to show the bottle of wine to prove it isn't actually poisoned? Lies! Ah, okay. I think I get it now. You're going to see me screw up a lot, everyone. So, um, I hope you enjoy that. And my, that shout. Have you been practicing? It certainly startled the guard. I wasn't that scared. Anyway, Mr. Hart, come with me. See you in court. Hee <laughs> hee. Always wanted to say that. Brock, wait. We still have to sort out your testimony for the court. Oh, I almost forgot. Guard, could I have a sec? Sure, why not? Not like this case will take very long anyway. I can give you a few minutes for your sentence to hang. Wait, they have the death sentence in the future? Oh, it's not something to look forward to. Thanks, I think. Brock, we need to focus. I'm going to write out your testimony. Okay, let's see. How can I blah, blah, blah? How can anyone believe that I could poison my wife? Two, this was my wedding day, the most important day of my life, marrying the woman of my dreams. Okay, three, selling it with a murder would be the worst thing it could do. Yep, what's this arrow here? I guess I can't click it. Oh, shoot! Damn it, Pharrell. What'd you do that for? Ah, uh, um, five. I didn't know the wine was poisoned. All I was thinking about was taking Victoria to Hawaii for a honeymoon. Um, okay, let's do a little bit of a tutorial here. Even though I've worked on this overnight, more help couldn't hurt. Of course, I'll explain how testimony prep works. The sheet shows exactly what your witness will say when their time to testify arrives. You can change what the witness will say. Any statement that has a checkbox next to it can be omitted. If the box is not checked, that statement will not be stated. Any statement with an arrow next to it can be swapped. Oh, okay, so that's what the arrow does. Check the statement for any errors. Got it. Make sure your witness doesn't say something they will regret. 
Okay, if she died, what was I supposed to do? What was I supposed to do to get away with it? That's definitely out of the statement, out of the testimony. It's my wedding day, the most important day of my life. Married a woman of my dreams. Sweet, we're gonna get an emotional response. Awesome. Selling with murder would be the worst thing I could do. Uh, would be the first thing I would do. Okay, let's do worst thing. I think we're good. Brock, you think you can handle this? Oh, duly noted. Damn. It remembers what I did. Yes, I can memorize this. So you want a testimony stand? Come with me, Brock. That's everything then. So now you are all sorted out. It's time to say hello to the cameras. Oh, look at this. Justine. Miss Hope, Miss Hope. How does your client feel about this being your first case? My client knows that he's got the best defense lawyer possible. Miss Hope, you realize this is an open and shut case, right? Not open and shut? What kind of justice are you seeking, you paparazzi person, you? No case is always as it seems. That's right, and we intend to bring that to light today. Regario, we really must be going. But they have a video showing the murder, and your client putting the poison in the glass. Wait, the client is putting poison in the glass? Uh-oh. And we are here today to make sure that our client has the real truth uncovered from that video. Miss Hope, one more question. Sorry, that's all we have time for today. She's definitely just trying to make um, us look bad. Miss Hope, how long do you think this case will last before your client is pronounced guilty? One hour? 30 minutes? That was quite enough of that. Time to head for to our bench. Definitely was enough of that. That was annoying. Damn press. Always messing with lawyers' heads to get a soundbite out of them. You handled yourself well out there. Oof, it doesn't feel like it. If that video is shown in court, we have no chance. We might as well just go home. Vigaria, come on. Sometimes videos don't show the full truth. Look, don't let it get to you. The only two things that keep you alive out there in court are your belief in your client's innocence and your own confidence. When either of those go, you might as well just leave the courtroom because the judge won't listen to a thing you say. Right now, you have both of those, so keep smiling and have hope. Hope. Right. Right you are. Without hope, our client has nothing. Okay, dear. That's all the pep talk I can give you for now. Just know that I'll be by your side throughout the trial. Everyone, to your places! July 17th. 9.15 a.m. 2099, Podunk City Court, Courtroom 4, USA. Oh dear. My dear. It looks like the DA assigned his best prosecutor to this trial. Say hello to Artemis Narcissus. Okay, she's definitely narcissistic. Let's take her down, Regaria. Ah, Rhea. So you're a silly little girl that signed up for this case, eh? Artie, I've been waiting for this time. I'll see you in court. But we're already here, silly. Oh. We got pwned. <laughs> we got pwned. You were meant to say that before we get into the courtroom. Damn it, she beats me at comebacks again. Yes, she did. Whoa. You know her? Yeah, yeah, I'll explain it later. All rise. Courtroom battle, commence! All rise for the Honorable Judge Richard Bust. Be seated. Today we are here to pass judgment on Mr. Brock and Art. Charged with the murder of Miss Victoria Timms. Does the prosecution have everything in order? Indeed, your honor. All I have to say is this case will take less than one hour. I'll even set a timer. Oh. Oh. You're going down, Artemis. If that timer reaches zero, I'll consider this trial over and leave the courtroom. Judge, you may as well just pronounce the defendant guilty by then. Agreed. I've got a nice turkey sandwich waiting for me when I get back to my office. Let me know when that timer finishes, would you? Hey, dude, you're a judge of justice, not a judge of a sandwich. As you wish. What the heck just happened? Yeah, that just happened. Not much we can do about it now other than prove our client's innocence in under an hour. That's crazy. An hour? That's ridiculous. See? She sees it too. Quiet, we don't have the time. Hmm, Optimus, you know, in the interest of making this fair, I think we should only have the timer count down when the defense needs to make an action. And to make it fair to us and my stomach, let's shorten it to 10 minutes. Oh my god, this guy. Okay, this dude is definitely crooked. Right to Judge Yo. Okay, with that item dealt with, defense, your opening statement. We welcome the challenge of proving our client is innocent in under 10 minutes. And I know that won't be a challenge considering he is, without a doubt, innocence. Very well. It is time to have the chief officer at the scene describe the facts as they currently stand. Come to think of it, it would be good to see how the de detectives currently see the case. 
Detective Hawk Shaw, please describe the facts of this murder. Yes, sir. The defendant, Brock and Art, murdered the victim, Victoria Tins, using poison found in a bottle on the scene. The defendant poisoned a glass of wine during the writing reception, and the victim drank it. Death was immediate after drinking the poison. Wait a minute, what is this? Jurita? What is Jurita? What's this here? What? Okay. I used the video of the murder to demonstrate exactly how the murder happened. I, I could put my thoughts here? What the heck? Uh... Okay, let's see what he has to do. <gasps> oh no! It's the first thing they are allowed to, they are showing? Gotta have hope. There must be something wrong with that tape. I'll start the video. Okay, here we go. Here's where the waiter brings the wine out. He's smiling. Do you see his face? Oh, they look so happy. So sad she died. Here's where the defendant puts the poison into the glass of wine. Regaria, my dear, does something look odd to you there? Bzz, bzz. I think so, but what can you do about it? Bzz, 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 bzz. Oh, that's going to get annoying to you guys. I'm going to stop that. If there's anything that looks odd to you, you can try and interrupt, allowing you to object to evidence that as it's being presented or statements that, as they are being made. You got it. Interrupt. Objection. Yeah. There's nothing showing the defendant putting the poison into the wine glass at the moment in time. It looks like the defendant is only covering the wine glass. Heh <laughs> heh. Looks like the new kid is a live one. Obizione. Irrelevant. All events we have point to this time as when Brock put the poison in the wine glass. The defense is simply trying to confuse the facts. Wrong. You are. Overruled. Overruled. I think my voice was spot on for your judge. Overruled. <laughs> While all evidence points to Brock poisoning the wine glass, I don't see that happening in this video. Okay, back to the video. After Brock has poured into the wine glass, he gives it to his wife and she drinks it. Everyone's laughing around and having a good time, and then she gets up to give a speech. Then passes out. Death comes soon after, as her lungs seize and she stops breathing. <gasps> oh, that poor woman. This is a sad case. I hope he's innocent, and I hope she's alive, but she's obviously not alive, so let's continue. This is where the video ends. Upon seeing the death, the local officer present at the wedding shut the area down, preventing all attendees from leaving or accessing cloakroom to avoid any missing evidence. So guests couldn't access the cloakroom straight after the murder was committed. I better update my case files. Wait, how do I update it? Okay. The code has been added to the case files. The reception video has been added to the case files. Thank you, Officer Shaw. I'll be, ask I'll be asking you to testify th about the motive for a murder soon. Judge, you can see that the video shows that the defendant has the means and the ability to poison the victim. Objection! Objection, indeed. The video doesn't show that the defendant has had any way to poison his glass. Abezione. Oh, what the hell is she? That's Spanish, isn't it? A contraria. Here's proof of the defendant's guilt. We found this poison in Brock's coat during the lockdown of the wedding reception. Obviously, that was fake. What? How the heck was Artemis able to find that? That's not on my case files. Something smells fishy. I better add it now. The poison has been added to the case files. Regera, I hope you aren't too worried about this, my dear. Are you kidding me? We've got no chance. Look at Artemis. She's got the judge eating evidence out of her hand. Have some hope, Hope. This is all just a bunch of bluster. There's already been two major things wrong with their interpretation of the evidence. What? Are they lying? Not? Exactly. I wouldn't say that, it's just in their best interest to provide the facts in a way to make a defendant look guilty. It's your job to poke holes in the facts that the prosecution provides. Ooh, look, he's still thinking about stuff. Okay. How fun, a murder video. Wow, you are weird. Must have been some really bad wine. A do ho ho, dude, somebody died. I'm getting bored and hungry. Wow. I think his moral compass needs some work. I get that, but how can I do that, and when? You already know about the interrupting, so try that sometime, and I'm sure that I'll be able to tell you about the other way soon. Hang tight, Hope. Officer Shaw, the time has come for you to testify about why the defendant killed the victim. Of course, ma'am. It's simple, really. Victoria Timms had a giant wad of money. When Victoria died, Brock would have inherited that fat stack. <gasps> no, 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 no. Present evidence, present evidence. Uh, oh, I can't present? What? What? That's not fair. I was supposed to be allowed to do that. This doesn't sound right. It's not. You need to prove that there's something wrong with testimony. Got it, I'll show him. Well, here goes nothing. <gasps> Ooh, this feels epic. It's simple, really. 
Victoria Timms had a giant wad of money. When Victoria died, Brock would have inherited that fat stack. Ha! Inherited. Indeed, I have a will that says otherwise. Rise! Good job, Regera. Impossible, Officer Shaw. How sure are you? Pretty sure. I mean, that looks like it was the motive, too. Objection! Ha 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 ha. Did you even read the victim's will? No, it just seemed that the obvious reason for... Objection! Nice. Look at her go. Brock isn't even mentioned on the will. And the last time that the will was updated was over five years ago. Everything's going towards some guy called Jordan Deed. The defendant is not even mentioned. Your honor, I move to strike all statements from this witness off the record. <gasps> oh no, she surprised me. Wow, look at that. Amazing. Le shock. Your honor, apart from the last statement about the motive, everything else has been true. Sustained. What does that mean? Very well. Proceed. Wait, what does that mean? What does sustained mean? Officer Shaw, the last statement will cost you in your next performance review. Wait, what? He's under their patronage? What? I knew it. He's a pay he's paid off, isn't he? I'm going to ignore the last witness statement. Nice. Everything apart from that still stands. Officer Shaw, you can go now. I'll talk to you after this trial over is over. What? This is so corrupt. Oh my god. Hmm. Right, so that's done. Is the case done yet? Can I go to lunch now? No, you may not, you crooked judge. I have a rumbly in my tumbly. Oh god. Your honor, even without an apparent motive, the case is so open and shut that I think I might as well just invite the defendant up to be our first witness. That's not a good thing for us. Maybe he'll save us all a lot of time just by confessing. Yeah, he's an idiot. I think he actually would. That would be really nice. I'm worried about the mustard on my turkey sandwich. I hope it doesn't dry out. Right you are, sir. The court would like to see Mr. Hart take the witness stand. We're done. We're screwed. It's over. Mr. Hart, I see you are ready to testify about your plight. Yes, your honor. Ugh. Well, it's over for us, everyone. Game over. We lose. How could anyone believe that I could poison my own wife? Arrete. We all do. That's why you are here. Look like Artemis isn't holding anything back. Don't let her run all over you and your client. Interrupt her right back. You Objection. got it, Pharrell. Your Honor, the prosecution is simply taunting the witness. Indeed, Artemis. Please refrain from pointless shouting. This was my wedding day, the most important day of my life. Marrying the woman of my dreams. I can see that. I've never heard of anyone hating their wedding day. Hey, look. He wants to be here even longer. Sweet. I'll add some time to defense's cases. Selling it with a murder would be the worst thing I could do. Seems like everything is going well so far. I didn't know the wine was poisoned. All I was thinking about was taking Victoria to Hawaii for our honeymoon. That went great. Mr. Hart, thank you for your testimony. Ha! Eat it, Artemis. Now, could you please state your whereabouts about the time of the murder? Murder! <gasps> I told myself I wouldn't do this. Sob. Vic! Damn, Artemis just had to push him over the edge. Brock looks dead inside right now. I hope he doesn't say something that I'm going to regret. I can't do this anymore. I was right next to my wife when she died. I wish I was dead. <gasps> I'm sorry for your loss, sir. Please state your recollections of the event. Sure thing. I'll make this court case as quick as possible. I don't want to be alive anymore. <gasps> looks like that turkey sandwich is getting closer and closer. Yum. The waiter brought the wine up for Victoria and I. I took the wine from the waiter, then I poisoned a wine glass. I had it in my coat pocket so I could easily put the poison in. Wait, what? He knew there was poison in his coat pocket. Then I gave it to my wife and she drank it. But why? No, he's an idiot. He's BSing. He's just suicidal right now. <gasps> Crap. You can't be serious. Calm down, Hope. He's obviously lying. You can't lie on the witness stand. You'd be surprised. Ha ha ha. So, Judge, should we consider the defendant guilty? I'm ready. My turkey sandwich is almost... Objection! Nice! The court must recognize the defense has a right of rebuttal. Oh. Ho ho ho! Sustained. Nice! I suppose I could get a guard to put in the fridge. Well, roll on it with it then. Dear, have you checked your case files lately? No, I actually haven't. <gasps> Give me a sec. You set? Good. Some Oh, somewhere in your case files must be something that proves that Brock is lying about the mur murder of Victoria. Um... How about this one? I was found wearing knights, wasn't found in a check-in, blah blah blah. 
<gasps> Wait a minute. This one, right? Um, it's job to prove that he's lying. And evidence is what you use to prove it. So have hope. Hope? That's weird. We're trying to prove our client is lying. Okay, let's do this again. Brock, you idiot. That was matter with you. The waiter brought the wine up for Victoria and I. Nope. Go next. I took the wine from the waiter. Uh, I don't know if you poured it or not. Then I poisoned a wine glass. I had it in my coat pocket so I could easily put the poison in. Oh, I know! The picture! Right? The picture! He didn't have his coat pocket. He didn't have his jacket on. In your face, Bye. sucker. Come on, Brock. I knew you missed your wife, but dying won't bring her back. <laughs> what is the meaning of this? Your honor, I remember the, remember the video we just saw. Sure, we saw the video where Klein poisoned the- Hey, dude, no, it didn't say- it didn't show that. Your honor, if he did put the po if he did poison the victim, how did he get the poison? Clearly, he wasn't wearing his jacket at the time of the murder. Nice, and since the cloakroom was locked off, he couldn't put the poison in the wine glass. This means that it was impossible for Brock to have poisoned the wine. So, what do you mean? Someone else must have put the poison in the wine. Someone else must- Oh, I don't want to read it again. <laughs> Ridiculous, there's no one else that could have put the poison in the wine glass. Ooh. Arty, arty, arty. Are you forgetting about the most obvious other suspect? The waiter. Objection. Nice. Do it, do it. There's at least one other person that could put the poison in the wine glass, and you can see him in the murder video. Sustain. Sustain. It's just his voice is so awesome. Ooh, I'd like to hear this. This case is finally getting interesting. So would I. Just make sure you're not misleading the courts, Rhea. Show everyone in the courtroom exactly who else could have poisoned the wine. With pleasure, Artie. Just let me pause the murder video at the right spot. Here's the real murderer. <gasps> wow, look at that. Right there. Right there. <laughs> Wait. Oh, cool. You can actually pick a square. Neat. The murderer is right there. The waiter? Yes, he's the only person that could have poisoned the wine. But why? I'm sure if you bring him here, we'll find out. You know what? I'll allow it. Rhea, you've made today's case much more interesting. Oh, Shexi. Wow, look at that. Shexi joined up. Nice. <gasps> yes, dear. Add another 30 minutes to clock. But what about my lunch? Well, your honor, you could schedule a break. Ah. Uh, oh, right. Yeah, let's do that. Sustained. <laughs> oh my god. I believe a one hour recess is in order. Guard, fetch me my sandwich. You there, other guard, fetch me my mustard. It's time for my lunch munch. Yippee! Well done, Hope. You have passed. Passed what? The first part of your own trial. I hope you can pass the rest. It's going to get much harder from here. Thanks, I guess. Okay, now let's go outside and see if our client has anything to say. Okay, July 17th, 10.30 a.m., 2099, Pedong waiting, blah, 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 blah. Part of me feels glad to be out there, but I don't feel like I really know where this case is going yet. It's good to get some time to consider where this case is going. Wah! My wife is gone! Good God. Stop it, dude. Well, there goes that idea. Calm down, Brock. We're getting closer to finding out who killed your wife. What? You think so? We've already proven that he could that it couldn't have been you. One of the staff members at the restaurant must have done it. Oh wait, what's this? Oh, ooh, that looks delicious. Oh man. Om nom nom. Oh, this must be before the the thing ended. Oh wait, no. Let's go back back to storyline. I get distracted by sandwich. And there's that mysterious Jordan indeed mentioned in Will. Do you know anything about that? A little. It's a long story. Jordan and Victoria used to be married. Well, that seemed to be the case. You don't usually put someone in your will unless you love them. You don't understand. Jordan was a woman. What's the problem with that? What? What's the problem? What happened? I mean, you were marrying Victoria, so what happened? Well, Victoria never really told me much about it, but when it came up, she would always be so worried. She would say Jordan is going to get me someday. I never asked for more details than that, but I assumed the breakup didn't go well. When we first met, Victoria had these bruises on her back and arms as well, but when I asked her about them, she just said Jordan and started crying. Aww. Why didn't you try and find this Jordan if she was so dangerous? Victoria was worried that whatever I did, Jordan's retribution would be, would be horrific. She just wanted to stay away from her. Then how did her name end up on the will? Why didn't she remove it? 
I don't know. I guess she never got around to changing it. Fair enough. I guess Victoria's bookkeeping isn't on trial here. I wonder if Jordan knew she was still in the will. I don't think so. I don't think we can use that as a motive. I believe there might be, be a more obvious one. True, but it might mean that we will need to air some dirty laundry of Victoria's in court. Is this okay, Brock? I prefer that it didn't come up. I'm fine with Victoria's past, but the general public might have something to say. But if you don't think that's as pos that it's possible to win this trial without bringing that up, I guess you'll have to. Regaria, your time with the defendant is up. I'll see you back in the courtroom, and I just want to say this now. Thanks. Oh look, he's finally straightening up and st stopping his whining. Of course, helping the innocent is what the defense lawyers do. Well, it looks like we've got another visitor. That was some impressive work in there, missy. Wish I could have said the same for you. Yeah, you suck, man. What kind of sheriff are you? Now, that's not a nice way to talk to an officer of the law. You realize you were just making this here trial harder on yourself, right? You get paid the same amount if you win or lose. It's not about the money. It's about true justice. I never thought about it that way. But really, think about it. You play your part, lose the trial, that'd be making it easier for the prosecution to do their job. We'll be able to thank you for it later. Officer Hawk, I think you should leave. No boss, let him talk. I mean no disrespect, ma'am, but I'm sure that there might be a promotion for someone on the cards if you let him win. I'm sure they won't forget you when they're on the up and up. Who do you think sent me? So, what do you say? Let's see, I'll throw a trial. Ooh, this one looks tempting. Not! Ha, 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 in your face. Hawk. Nicely played, milady. What the heck are you trying to pull here, Hawk? Just glad to see that your girl here is a good one. You could have just asked me and saved all the drama. It's not as fun that way. You know me for rule. I've got to have fun with it. Like that sham of witness testimony you gave in court? This your lady lawyer need a warm before the main event. Thanks, but what about your performance review? Well, that's where the rest of this your evidence comes in. If I can help you catch the real killer, my bonus don't get affected. Just mention my name when you show these items off. Artemis would just love it. She told you to hide these? <gasps> oh no, she's hiding evidence. Uh-oh. Yeah, these two pieces didn't fit into her idea of the facts. Well, what are they? I found a cloakroom check-in stuff for Brock's coat jacket along with a crumpled up photo of two ladies I never really understood what that photo was doing in that coat jacket. The coat room stub is added to case files. The crumpled photo- Oh, <gasps> That must be Jordan right there! Wait, who had brown hair again? Was it Jordan or Victoria? Oh crap, I don't know who's who. Ah, uh, this might be a problem. Hmm, I wonder if this has anything to do with what Brock just said. Thanks, I would think these will come in handy. Sometimes, Hawk, you almost make up for the trouble you cause. I'll go and do you one better. I'll do a background check on the staff that were working at the wedding reception. Hmm, that might about cover it, depending on what you find. Alright then, take care little lady. I'm proud of you Hope, I'll see you at the defense bench. I should prepare myself for the rest of this case. Sure, let's uh, check out some stuff here. Blah blah blah, ticket, okay ticket. The describes when Brockenhart checked in his coat in the cloak room. He checked his coat in 3 hours for the wedding reception, okay. Oh, it even has a time here. So the wedding reception was at 9pm. This photo shows Victoria Tames with familiar odd. The female looks familiar. Can we zoom in? Oh, we can. Wait, that kind of looks like the, the waiter, right? <gasps> What's the waiter, Jordan? Oh my, I think we know who the, who the waiter is now. Ah, Rhea, so good to see you again. Artemis, what an unexpected surprise. So what did you think of my proposal? I should have known you were the one behind Hawk's questions. You haven't changed, have you, Artie? Oh, she broke her glass. That's scary. Just by looking at it. I would have thought that this would have been an easy question for you, Rhea. Either lose and get money, or lose and get no money. Surely, it's that simple. Oh, you're so spunky and arrogant. I hate you. Unlike our playground toy trials, Artie, these, there are consequences. Innocent people can die. But you still get paid, Rhea. Exactly the same amount, whether you win or lose. Wouldn't it be nice to make a little extra on the side? It's not like our court-appointed lawyer will be going places in life. Why not enjoy the ride? Because innocent people need me, Artemis, and I'm the only one that can protect them. But there's no way you'll win this case. All the odds are in my favor. Ha! We'll see about that. But there's always hope. Nice. Nice using your last name. That saying didn't even sound cool in the playground, Rhea. You really should get rid of it.
Looks like the break is almost over. Let's continue the conversation after the end of this trial. With your loss, Artemis. You're going down. We both know how this trial will end anyway, don't we? See you in court, Rhea. Damn, I wanted that I wanted that to be my line. The court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Brockenart. Artemis, I believe you were able to apprehend the waiter in the murder video. Yes, sir. The waiter was very agreeable to come in. Look at this. Look at this. Before we, before we even start. Okay. So, there's the waiter right there, right? All sexy and swaggy. But then, bam! Look at that. Right there. Actually, we should go a bit closer. Okay, take a good look. And then... Boom. Doesn't that look like Jordan? Because that woman in the picture has to be Jordan. There's no way. There's no way around that. Okay. Uh, whatever. Let's see. Oh, his name's Hemming, though. Maybe it's a fake name. I can understand why I'm here, so I'll try to assist any way I can. Very well, please state your name and occupation. My name is Mr. Hemming Changer. I am a waiter. And thank you, and thank you for coming down to indulge our pitiful defense. We'll try and keep this short, Mr. Changer. I'll give the defense ten minutes of time to do whatever silly thing they want. I trust this respects your time. I can't believe she just changed how much time is left. That's not fair. Of course. There seems to be something out off about the waiter, but I can't really put my finger on it. You might want to check your case files, see if there is any evidence you can review. Wait, right now? Oh, I missed it. Mr. Changer, please state for the court the action seen in the video from your point of view. All I did was take the wine up to the victim. I had no idea what was in the wine. I just put the wine into the glass and left it there for a while to aerate. The husband couldn't have put it in there before I took the wine up. He must have done it, otherwise how else would the poison end up in his coat? Well, Artemis, it appears you've had enough time to prep your witness. Of course, I want to make sure that we don't waste any of his time. Don't you, Rhea? We'll see. He knows a fair bit about this case. Why don't you try interrupting him to see if anything shakes out? You are f familiar with interrupting by now, I assume. Yeah. With a button up here. Sure thing, I know how to get witnesses talking. Let's do it. Time to put on a good show for the crowds. Let's do it. All I did was take the wine up to the victim. Wait, one second. Yeah, he did do that, right? He did take the wine up. I had no idea what was in the wine. I just put the wine into the glass and left it there for a while to aerate. Wasn't it Brock who poured the wine? Who poured the freaking wine? Yeah, Brock poured the damn wine. Present it. Lies! Liar. This evidence proves you are wrong. Good job, Regaria. Thanks. No, Regaria, you didn't let me finish. Good job on almost sounding like you know what you were talking about. Oh, crap. I'm giving you a penalty. What? The husband could have put it in there before I took the wine up. He must have done it, otherwise how else would the poison end up in his coat? Wait, the husband could have put it in there before I took the wine up. This one? Let's do it. Lies. Liar. Your honor, clear as evidence proves that the witness is lying. How? Um, er, uh, it doesn't really, does it? Damn it. You're the lawyer, you tell me. In the meantime, I'm penalizing your inter interpretation of the case. Shoot. Uh. I still think he knows a bit too much about this case. Try interrupting him and see what shakes out. Sure thing, boss. That was gonna something. Blah, 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 blah. Ah, son of a gun. Um, case right up. We can play on a wine glass at the scene. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Drank from a faithful night. Poured in Victoria Tins glass, doesn't want to find nothing. This guy's a money gold summon, blah blah blah. Wait a minute, wait. Can we present the can we present the coat? Um, let's see, blah blah blah. Or took the wine up, that's not what was it up in his coat. Let's try to coat. Lies. How dare you! Your honor Swiss spoke of evidence in vain. What? Language was that in? What? It, uh, what? I well it was common. Crap, we're screwing up here. When you speak English, come back in the court. Otherwise, no gibberish in my court. Son of a gun. Ugh. Frustration. The frustration is building. All he did was take the wine up to the victim. Wait, no. He didn't take the wine up to the victim. Wait, did he? Here we go. This one. This one will do it. Liar. Look at Seven. It's clear you don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. Regaria. Yes, Judge? Ugh. <sighs> Oh my god. 
I have to the victim, and though there wasn't a wine, I just put the wine into the glass and left it there for a while to aerate. We're gonna lose this case. Oh crap. Oh, wait a minute. How about we try this one? Oh, I think it's my last shot. Okay, liar, why don't we make it easy for me to see right through you? Regaria. I should say something about you, damn it! Oh no. Morale's almost gone. No, wait, it's not gone yet. Right, that's it. I've heard enough. Like, see no other way that this case could be presented. I have no other choice but to pronounce a defendant. <gasps> oh, shoot. I'm so sorry, Brock. Cut, cut, cut. The judge is meant to say that. What is going on here? The judge isn't even a real judge. Really? Let's start the scene again. Ah, oh, crap. Son of a gun. I was, like, I was actually expecting this to be one video. It might actually turn into two or three. Ah, so it looks like we're not cut out to be lawyers, unfortunately. It looks like Artie here really, um, we got thrashed, basically. But we're going to come back swinging, and we're not going to give up until we win. So anyways, I hope you all enjoyed Regaria Hope. If you did, why don't you go ahead and click that subscribe button and the notification bell. And if you're really enjoying this and you're looking to support the channel, go ahead and check out the links in the description. Otherwise, I'll see you all in Episode 2 of Regaria Hope. Thanks for watching, and have yourselves a great day.